What purpose does the gentleman from Ohio rise? Madam Speaker, good morning. Good morning. I have permission to address the House and to revise the extent. Without objection. Wake up, America. We have trillions for a war machine and the banks, while our government stands by and sniffs at the slaughter of innocents in Gaza, where Israel is blocking aid for wounded Palestinians. Here's today's Washington Post. It says the International Committee of the Red Cross said Thursday that it found at least 15 bodies and several children emaciated but alive in a row of shattered houses in the Gaza Strip and, and accused the Israeli military of preventing ambulances from reaching the site for four days. Twelve corpses lying on mattresses in one home, along with four young mothers, along with four young children lying next to their dead mothers. That's a quote. Today, U.S. tax dollars, U.S. jets, and U.S. helicopters provided to Israel are enabling the slaughter in Gaza. The administration enables Israel to press forward with the attack against defenseless civilians, blocks efforts at promoting a ceasefire at the U.N., and refuses to make Israel comply with conditions that armed shipments not be used for aggression. Israel is going to receive $30 billion in a 10-year period for military assistance without having to abide by any humanitarian principles, international laws, or standards of basic human decency. Wake up, America. Gentleman's time has expired. What purpose does the gentlewoman from North Carolina rise? Permission to address the 